Some office next to me collapsed. This is the North Iowa wall. I just want this Iowa wall to come over me. God help us here. On the morning of August 24, 2017, a strengthening tropical storm Harvey was 350 miles off the Texas coast. At 12 noon, information provided by Air Force Reconnaissance Aircraft, the Hurricane Hunters, the National Hurricane Center upgraded tropical storm Harvey to a category one hurricane. 12 a.m. on Friday, August 25th, the NHC upgraded a rapidly intensifying Harvey to a Category 2 hurricane. Also at 12 a.m., storm chaser Jeff Petrosky landed in Corpus Christi, Texas. Jeff Petrosky has captured Emmy award-winning footage of nature's most violent storms, documenting every extreme of weather, from the ferocity of the Joplin EF5 tornado to devastating hurricanes, including Sandy and Katrina. At 7 a.m., Jeff left Corpus Christi and headed towards his target landfall area for Harvey, Rockport, Texas. Jeff utilized social media live streaming while chasing Harvey. It was imperative that he let others know about the risks associated with Harvey. Good morning from Corpus Christi. Hope everybody's doing well. There's been a lot of convection overnight and this morning with a lot of thunderstorm activity with a lot of lightning. Hurricane continues to intensify as it comes toward the coast. So this is gonna be a very long, prolonged uh, hurricane as it slows down dramatically as it comes ashore tonight, later tonight, early in the morning. Uh, it's gonna crawl to the north-northwest here and then it kind of wobbles around for the next couple of days in this general area. What happens after that, it's not good. So remember, most deaths are after the hurricane. It is people driving into storm surge water, deep water, uh, turn around, don't drown. There's gonna be water over roadways all the way up towards San Antonio, all the way uh, west, probably 75 miles from Corpus, uh, all the way over to Houston as we get into Sunday and Monday, because this is a real wide rain event. And so the, the flooding alone, just forget the hurricane, forget the damage to the hurricane, just the flood aspects of this storm alone is going to break all Texas records, but just strictly a rain event, it's going to be catastrophic. After initial landfall at Rockport, Texas, Harvey remained nearly stationary, creating catastrophic flooding. A record-breaking 51.88 inches of rainwater fell over the greater Houston and southern Texas region, home to over 6.3 million people. The record-breaking flood event alone covered 23,000 square miles. To gain a perspective, 23,000 square miles is the size of Lake Huron of the Great Lakes. Hurricane Harvey is the second costliest hurricane in U.S. history. Good afternoon, this is another update from the Gulf Coast of Texas between Rockport and Fulton. The winds have been gusting here, probably closer to 50 now. Storm you know, surge continues to increase with the waters up two feet uh, based off the buoys. We just had a buoy report from 42020. We have wave heights of 22 feet. Pressure is falling rapidly. Okay, let me show you. This is this is what's going on. Let me turn our car around here. Look, I, I will show you this, watch this. See all these fifth wheels? Most of, most of them aren't anchored down. Some of them are, but look at all this. Look at all these fifth ones. These winds get up to 100, 120 here, uh, gusting to 120, 130 in the next couple hours, and, this, and we're right open to the water. I mean, literally 50 yards the other direction is the water. So as soon as those winds pick up, these things are gonna go rolling. Let me show you something. This is gonna be breaking. Based on what I'm seeing off the uh, Doppler, again, this is not official, but just based off what I'm seeing on Doppler, we have a Cat 3, top top where Cat 3 is in progress, and we have winds gusting to 140 to 45 miles an hour now, building on the northeast side of the eye. This area right here of winds of 145 now, this hurricane is intensifying. The eye is getting smaller, the winds are getting stronger. We've got a larger area of Cat 3 going to high Cat 3. It might make Cat 4. A key component of intensity in hurricane physics is angular momentum conservation. As air moves to a smaller radius, its velocity must increase. Much like a spinning ice skater, pulling her arms inward creates a smaller radius. Her speed increases. Her arms move outward, the radius widens, slowing her down. Hurricane Harvey upgraded to a Cat 3 on the 2 p.m. NHC update.
it's pretty pretty nasty outside. Bear with me, the wind's gonna blow like crazy. I'm gonna go outside here real quick and let's go look at this. This is intercoastal. You got the boardwalks are starting to break apart now. You got boards breaking off the boardwalk here. These are starting to come apart. This is starting to come up over the boardwalk. Rises about another foot or two. And we'll start getting water surging uh, over the uh, up to the road where the car is. This is only about a two foot rise. It's not very much. The waves are just getting larger and larger and larger. Where I'm located in the Fulton area and Rockport, Texas, damaging hurricane force winds from Hurricane Harvey is now coming ashore. Gosh, just had an explosion behind the car. Let me check on my guys. Let me make sure they didn't get fried. You okay? Yeah. All right. Get back from that puppy. Get back. At 6 p.m., the National Hurricane Center upgraded Harvey to a major Category 4 hurricane with sustained winds of 130 miles per hour and stronger gusts. It was imperative that Jeff find shelter to safely film as the eye made landfall. He found shelter in a car wash behind the now viral hashtag blue shed. With the winds out of the east, the winds start going about 120. This, this car wash faces north-south. So I'm parallel, walls are parallel to the hurricane coming out of the east of winds gusting 120, 130. Oh, I could run in here and get out of the flying debris. There's a lot of trash can. Look at this trash can gonna come by. This has hit the building. There it goes. Okay, he's moving westbound down. He's, yeah, he's moving, excuse me, he's moving southbound, I guess down. No, he's kind of moving like west, southwest, down 35, heading southbound in the parking lot. There he goes. Go boom. There he goes. Wow, look at that. Winds 110 at about 5,000, 2,000 feet above my head. The storms come in, it mixes that wind down. Winds really screaming hard now. wall has made a jaw back to the uh, north northwest wind gust outside measured 117 miles an hour within the next hour we're going to be in the northwest eye wall and possibly into the eye very close to fulton and rockport okay this is extremely struck to 140 mile hour winds are, are probably coming on shore now in fulton rockport one over 130 coming ashore at 8.47 p.m., the National Weather Service issued an extreme wind warning for Rockport, Texas, and the surrounding area. Peak 10-meter wind gusts associated with Harvey's eyewall measured between 140 and 150 miles per hour. I'm watching the roof behind me. I, I'm seeing the seams on the roof behind me are starting to split. The beams are starting to separate. It's just like it just keeps wobbling here it's like it's like i hate to say it but it's almost it almost like it's like it's stalling i hate to say that but it sure looks like it look at this thing it's just look at these little wobbles in here and these little things keep piddling around and, and swinging around look at this thing this is right now this is just to give you an idea 120 to 145 mile hour winds in this in this area right here we are absolutely getting hammered in fulton and rockport cat four hurricane now so much sheet metal and there's you know heavy metal rust down here and clay tiles you get that stuff coming through the air 150 miles an hour and hits you you're you're done something just happened bad i think the rook something else just happened hang on let me let me go outside something horrible just happened there's, there's the roof. oh my gosh the high beams are failing the overhead eye beams are failing on the building behind me. The brick pillar snapped in half yeah. of this building. Our building, our building, I, I hope to God, holds. 
I can feel, feel the whole building shaking violently. Oh my gosh, our lane's failing. I'm guessing we got one. I'm estimating winds of 150. 150 to slow. 145 to 150. This is live Hurricane Harvey Cat 4. We're in the uh, north, north, northwest Iowa wall right now. Wind sustained probably 130, maybe gusting to 140 in that range. We've had structure failures around us. Roofs come off. Lots of fine debris. Oh gosh. There it goes. Just a bit, the, the building behind me. The roof is coming off! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, guys, I'm 145! If that comes off back there, tell me! Uh oh, here it comes! Oh shoot! This is the worst of the worst. And, oh my gosh, this, this is bad. My ears are, my ears are popping. Uh-oh. All the, all the, they're, they're, they're failing. Everything's failing now. Wow. Like I'm about to drown outside. I'm soaking wet. Look at the look at the sign that just blew in front of me. It, it latched onto a telephone pole. Some sign. Look at the sign. There it goes. This blew away. Everything's moving. It's blowing at about 140. Buildings are coming apart all around us, for sure. Absolutely, 100. We're still in the north eye wall, northwest eye wall. If we stay in the side wall, can't get in the eye in the calm winds. We're, it's it's uh, God help us here. Winds are really violent outside now. The whole the whole car is rocking violently. That's right. Ah! Right now, I wall, the building is collapsed around me. It just collapsed. Oh my god. Next to me, 
collapsed. Look at the bell. Oh my gosh, that was that. Okay. This is the North Iowa. We have catastrophic damage occurring now. Um, another roof just went by me. Oh my gosh! This is guys with the eye wall. We're almost in the eye now. Thank God. Almost. Yeah, 142, 145 over above us right now. 145, 142. One Hurricane Harvey made landfall on the Texas coast over the northern end of San Jose Island, about four miles east of Rockport, Texas. Just before the hurricane's eye approached Jeff's location, his cell phone service failed, ending his live stream chasing Hurricane Harvey. <laughs> 21st century weather forecasting, aided by new generation weather satellites, along with supercomputers and storm reports on the ground, will help scientists accurately predict changes in global weather. A better understanding of the physics of a major hurricane, along with accurate forecasts, are crucial in providing the public with the knowledge of the risk and ultimately saving lives.